I wonder if she's watching this video. Hi. Hey dinosaurs, sorry for not posting for two weeks. I have a few good excuses. Number one being, since the beginning of March, I've been trying to apply for res for my college, and no one has been picking up the phones, or the people who do pick up the phones just transfer me to another person. I repeat what the problem is, then they transfer me again, and then again, until they tell me that I have to call back another day, and it's really frustrating, until I eventually talked to this lovely woman named Sarah on the 29th, and she ended up helping me sign up for res, putting in my deposit, all of that, and it was super simple. She just reset my password on her end. So thank you so much, Sarah. Also, I dropped a cup in my sleep, which was annoying to clean up the next day, and I have been on non-speaking terms with my ex-boyfriend the past two weeks, which was just sucky in itself. So please forgive me, and let's get into our rant today. This rant is all over the blanket on my bed right now. It is this lovely knit gray blanket, and it has a lovely little story behind it too. So on Monday morning, I was doing shipment, and I saw this one blanket in one of the boxes, and I put it on hold for myself. Then the next day, I come into work, and I see that my coworker has the exact same blanket in her on hold bag, except for the fact that Mine is no longer in my on hold bag, which means it's my blanket in her on hold bag, which was a little annoying. So then when I confronted her with the issue, she flat out lied to my face saying that it was her blanket, and the manager had already seen that it was in her on hold bag instead of being in my on hold bag. So now everyone in the store thinks that she's the one who saw it first. So I don't want to try and start like a whole issue and try and argue that I was the one who found it first, because I'm just not the type of person who wants to be confrontational. I just wanted to get the blanket back so I just said to her how much do you want for the blanket so then she said five dollars so in my mind I'm like okay the original blanket was worth over fifty dollars but she's gonna pay a dollar for it I'd rather her make a profit of four dollars than me not have the blanket so I offered her the five dollars she then refuses the five dollars looks at the blanket and says actually I changed my mind I like the blanket and I'm like, I don't know why you would lie and make a deal when you didn't want to make that deal. So I'm annoyed, so I'm like, I'm gonna go on my break, bye, I leave the store. And then she texts me and she's like, if you go get me orange juice right now, I will give you the blanket. So I'm just like, no questions asked, I don't want to like, give her time to change her mind, run to the dollar store, grab an orange juice, come out, go to her and go, here's your orange juice, this is still on my own break time. And then she goes, I changed my mind actually, if you read the text after that it said never mind, like, I, I want the blanket, I'll pay you for the orange juice, but I don't want to give you the blanket. And I'm like getting really heated because I hate people who go back on their word and like say something but don't actually plan on following through. And like, especially because she's making me walk around like a minion, like doing chores for her, getting her orange juice and stuff, I'm like, that's not what I signed up for, I just want my blanket back so I go to grab the blanket out of her hands and she pulls it away from me and I'm like are you serious right now and then I start going towards her and she runs like a child mind you she's 23 years old runs to the back room blah, blah. she runs into the back room holding the blanket like cackling being like you can't get the blanket if you can't scan it then it's not yours da, da, da. I'm like how old are you? Like, what? So, I'm obviously already annoyed, and I'm like, okay, well, this is my break time. Like, I'm not gonna waste it chasing you around, like, fighting to pay for this item that was originally mine. So, I'm like, no, that's that's not what I'm gonna do. I leave. Come back, and I've, after I was on my break, I came up with some smart things to say. So, I'm like, I know how I'm going to get this blanket back. Instead of trying to be nice and being like, oh, here, I'll pay you $10 for the blanket, like, that's not going to work because she wants to keep the blanket just to make me angry. So I have to make her more angry than I am so that she'll just give me the blanket because she doesn't want it. So I figure out what I'm going to say. She's the kind of girl who always talks about how she wants to have good karma and how she always does nice things, kind acts for strangers, but I've never seen her do anything like that. And she gives attitude to everyone who comes into the store. So I'm like, I don't know what karma you're building, but what? Whatever. Mind you, that's what she likes to claim. So I went into the store after my break, I'm all calm, just like a smile on my face and I go, funny thing is, you're the one who says you're a Christian, but I thought lying was against the Bible. Hmm. You'd know more about that than I would though. Building good karma today too, aren't you? And she looks up to me, straight face, and goes, you're lucky you're my coworker, or else I'd punch you in the face. I could not even help the smile that came on my face. I turned my head so fast, I'm like, okay, 
Bye! Start cleaning up the store like I know I got you there. Go into the back room so that she can't see me like laughing. And I come out of the back room and then she goes, Hey Christina, come over here. Which is my birth name. My preferred name is Blair. And so I know she's doing that to irritate me. I go up to her and she goes, You can have the blanket. I don't want to see it on my bed and think about Christina from work. I'm like, okay. Can you type in your uh, number so that I can buy it? She smiles and goes, no, I'm not going to type it in for you. I look through the book. It's not in the back of the book. And go, can you type in your number so I can buy it? And then she types in her number. And I scan it, just smiling, putting it in the bag, humming to myself, put the receipt in the bag. It's all good. I can feel her dirty look from behind me. And then I grab all my stuff. My shift was just about to end. And I'm like, have a nice day. Bye. Thanks for the blanket. That was mine. I don't try to be a rude person and I don't try and purposely mess up other people's days. I just don't want you to be telling me that you're going to do something and then go back on your word. Like don't do that because I will get under your skin. I have a very good talent at getting under people's skin like A1. I know like turn the other cheek but I mean if I turn the other cheek I wouldn't have this nice cozy blanket right beside me so I'm just saying. I wonder if she's watching this video. Hi. So that's all for this video. If you guys like this video, be sure to like this video. Comment down below if you have any awkward coworker stories. And subscribe to my channel to become a dinosaur. Bye, dinosaurs. Roar! <laughs>